Yes. <laughs> it makes us feel that we can do something now. Okay. So things to keep in mind when you're looking at that multi-year projection, the things that are not in it because they're that growing end balance. So we do not have any salary or benefit increases. That's going to be negotiated, but you can see where we're at with this. The additional amount that we're planning on spending, so we had um, an additional amount of $3 million for the supplemental and concentration grant. That's not in there. And we also had a $1.4 million for base grant. That's $4.4 million. If we did everything that we showed you um, on that previous presentation that Sandy and I did, the cost to the district would be $4.4 million um, on an ongoing basis. And what we're saying, though, is we're saying of that 4.4, we want, one, we want to think about 1.7 coming from reserves rather than coming from ongoing funds. Um, so that's not in there yet. So when we look back here again, like I said, in these amounts here and in these end fund balances, it's growing because this stuff isn't included in it. But when this stuff is included in it, we won't be dropping, dependent on what, negotiate, what we negotiate. But of course, we're never going to negotiate to put ourselves in a position where we are at great risk. But we have a lot of flexibility here. So um, another thing that is not in that multi-year projection, the state has expressed that they figure they're going to be funding that target Next, uh, okay, so at 28.5%, 28.05% for next year, which is built into next year's multi-year projection. But the following years, for year 15, 16, they're estimating that they're going to fund 33.95% of the gap. What we have in this multi-year projection is funding at 7.8%. So that's a huge amount difference from what we, that's like a $4 million difference, additional funds. If they funded this, it would be $4 million more than what we've got built into that budget. Well, not the budget, into the multi-year projection. And in the 16-17 year, they expect to do 21.67%. So this is coming from the state, the DOF. It's in the, uh, the FICMAT calculator. And we go in there and we change it to these amounts. We change it to these amounts because that's what school services is recommending, mm -hmm. to be conservative. There's right. nothing wrong with being conservative in those out years. For 14-15, we are doing what the state believes they will give us. But for the out years, we feel it is prudent to be not to plan on those funds until they start coming in. And so we will be able to fund those additional expenditures. Um, even if we just did this, even if we stayed on this, this would just make it faster for us to be able to cover that. And, um, and then also, so that you remember, our whole future spending is driven on the LCAP, the adoption of that LCAP. And what Sandy and I, Ms. McCulloch and I had presented to you earlier was the, the draft of that, the beginnings of that. That is for next year and we would revamp that each year to move forward and work together with the LCFF and the um, LCAP. So in short, the board needs to certify our second interim report. The certification that I am recommending is that it's a positive certification. That simply means that the district, you believe that the district is in the financial position to meet the financial obligations for the current year and the subsequent two years. That's what you're certifying. Yeah. Any I questions? I have one small question. Sure. What if uh, we have this conservative um, projection on how much we're going to get funded as far as the, um, towards the target? Um, if that money does come in as they say it will, do you know what the difference is in, in a dollar amount that we would get more? Yes, I do actually. Um, I'm 
still looking at the reserves because okay. we pay those 1.7 million for three years. Hypothetically, Ms. Kessler, I think you mentioned that it would be four million dollars. Four million dollars yeah. in, in, in difference yeah, that was yeah. in right. 2015, right. 16. Yeah. 16. Four million dollars. Right. It would be significantly less in 16, 17. In 15, 16, the additional amount to what's already in the uh, multi-year projection would be a total of 3.7 million dollars. Three million dollars of that would be base grant, and about six hundred and forty-five thousand would be supplemental concentration. In year sixteen seventeen, the additional amount would be one point one million dollars, of which approximately nine hundred thousand would be base, and two hundred thousand would be supplemental concentration. Okay. Okay. Is it too late to say that we could? Just give the total 3.7 million from the reserves instead of you coming back to us every year. Well, uh, we pass the budgets on a yearly basis, so it needs so to be a year. So it needs to be on a yearly basis. Right. Yeah. So we, we did. the idea of separating it out and having part of it being funded from the current funds and part of it from reserves is so we can see that there is still ongoing funds that we can have work with negotiation, negotiation. So we're not negotiating with reserves mm -hmm. because we never want to negotiate with reserves. And so this allows, if we have the 1.7 from the, um, and that's just for the supplemental concentration port right, part that's not that being part. covered, <laughs> yeah. to be temporarily covered by reserves, mm -hmm. then it allows us to have funds to negotiate for um, each year, all right. Yeah, on, with ongoing funds instead of one time. I'm asking some of these questions just also because Mr. Otaidi is not here and. Right, <laughs> somebody has to. Yeah. The accounting for it is not really any different. It's kind of more the way we talk about it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Keep this in line with our principles. Principles, not PLs. principles. Well, definitely. Yeah. Yes. You were right though. You said I would feel a lot better once you did. <laughs> I <presentation>. know. <laughs> no, uh, that's. Four years. You know, good outlook and it's going up. So, we need to vote on it. We do. We need, well, in fact, maybe I'll go ahead to um, move that we approve the second interim report as submitted with a positive certification. Second. That's, I believe, what we need to have. This. Okay, and we have a second. Wanted to make sure we got that exactly right. <laughs> okay, so we do have a motion and a second. All those in, let's see. Yes, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposition? Thank you. Thanks for the good news. Yeah. Nice to have you come up there and tell us something like that we might actually have money as opposed to telling us that we're going broke in a hurry. started out and that's right. fast. Yeah, right around. Okay. Um, because we are but the, running. the good news is we're going to finally give the students the services they need. That they yes. It doesn't matter about how we're getting there. It's that that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, very and true. if it's only for two years, then at least those kids will get services. Just for those two, we'll right. worry about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. What happens down the line? Mm -hmm. Okay, because we are running rather late, I'm um, going to table the board policies discussion. Um, do we have any reports from board members? Well, that's just an announcement that I should have made earlier, but I didn't make the announcement. Um, is that um, I was notified recently that I will be the recipient of the Woman of Excellence Award coming up. Oh, nice. Congratulations. Congratulations. So, oh. Anyway, um, there are people in this world that think I'm valuable. Okay, and I have no speaker cards. Yes, yeah. Su surprise it wasn't brought up by anybody else. It slipped my mind. Somebody had mentioned to me. Oh, of course. Yeah. Well, right. yeah, mentioned in passing, it was, yeah. Um, so I don't have any speaker cards. We need to convene to close session. Um, let's have a moment of silence, please. Before we do so, in memory of Marie Sucarlis? Suclaris. Suclaris, I'm sorry. That's even what it says there. I'm sorry. So for Marie Suclaris. We will take a very brief recess.